I step into this room on a, almost a daily basis, whether what it is, and we're surrounded by all of our heritage right here. So just to be a part of something that may end up being on these walls one day means a lot. And uh, hopefully all this hard work and everything becomes a, a large part of the LAR history and heritage. Standard TPs use, how we're gonna evaluate if the like conditions are good. So task, task for this table, this is big. And then after that, we're going to exposure time. Does that make sense? <laughs> All right, good to go. All right, first attempt, Cattell from First Light Armor Reconnaissance Battalion. Here to compete in the Bushmaster Challenge 2019. We just got our ski maneuver brief and the safety brief, and it's gonna be a pretty good time. The Bushmaster Challenge is a, uh, a cool event that was, came up a long time ago, pre-Iraq and Afghanistan. And basically they decided that we needed some kind of competition for basically bragging rights to see who is the, the top crew in all of the LAR units, not just the top crew of each battalion. Plans Corp Wise, the 3rd LAR, out here shooting the Bushmaster. I'm really stoked to be here. You know, it's right in our backyard. Hopefully win, take this trophy home. So to win the Bushmaster Challenge, it's going to take uh, hard work in our advanced gunnery training system trainers. It's going to take hard work doing the, the five exercises that we have. And if you can accomplish that, you probably have a pretty good chance of coming out victorious. Run step four, shooting 925. It's on you, fire and gun! To so third LAR, I gotta say that's a great job, especially the ranges right in their backyard. Their, their hard work paid off and they definitely deserve the bragging rights for uh, this year's Bushmaster Challenge.